welcome back all of you nana here and then we are in the next day's program on this fusion order management implementation no share the screen so oh, we have i made excel sheet with 16 different items now uh, for test structure so let us now begin with uh, my first item of a dozen test structure the dozen test we are going to begin now i am now logging in with my emsr login now the emsr login and logging in now <clears throat> emsr test it is a k99 underscore emp1 and then a call id at the rate 123 that is the one so i will now go to the product information management and then i will now have a look at this first item now i will now go to the browse items and then make a check of this item now so it's doesn't test it. so if you go on and see the units of measures it is doesn't actually and this is a wrong one many people make this mistake and then uh, they if they if, let us say the supplier is now supplying in dozen and you are selling it in each in such cases you should never make it as a dozen i will tell you about how the problem will now land up we are going to show you the, how the problem will end up and i was implementing for i was we were doing a support for one of the companies in saudi they have plenty of items which are having this uh, dozens and other things and then they had so many issues i asked them that what happens we had to drop the item we erase the sr and then oracle clearly told no it's not possible at all I mean, we cannot change the primary unit summaries from doesn't each at all they refused to me and then uh, finally we dropped so many thousands of items have to be dropped and then we created new items so i'll not tell you what exactly the problem is going to come on this i will not duplicate it now so it is in dozen so let us go there and then i will now give a price for this go to the order management and then you go to the pricing administration and then let us now give a price for this i have set up in this everything is now set up now k99 underscore emp1 is now fully set actually so here you can go there and then start to work on it manage price list and then i go there k99 and then let me query it now so open it up fine click on it and then let me add the price for this click on it so i will now go to the items and then click on plus now i will now add the item box you tap so the moment i give a tap what happens the dozen is coming which is the primary units of measure of this item ebis test the automatic conversion here it is not possible at all uh, i don't know whether there has come here or not we are going to see it now hello on you <clears throat> so here you go there and then it is a dozen of and click on create charge i will not give a dozen price as 12 now and click on create charge i am not going to give a dozen price as 12 and 12 and then i will not editable and then i will not make it as now and go that click on it date and get it so it is not dozen so each it will not do at all if it is a dozen prices there it will not automatically calculate whereas in ebis if you put this tick mark on the pricing now fine what happens you will be able to do the system will not do the conversion actually here it was not doing it i don't know whether it has been done or not we will not see this now click on sorry save and close so it is not done so let me go there open it up and then let me create a new sales order for this click on it and then here you go there go to the order management and then i go to the order management and then i will create a order now. so at the site level the default currency is uh, uh, the african currency the nira or whatever it is and so since i am working on my structure it is not showing the currency and then it is not showing an error here you go to the view pricing strategy segment it is not showing an error nothing is coming actually so since i have two currencies one is a uh, what is the currency vignesh niger or something like that na nira or something like that uh, so that currency is that yeah naira sir naira 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 currency is the site level currency actually so since here the site level currency because i have a, oh, my own structure that structure is working on us dollars and then the, my business unit is also coming up and so it is not coming up so the moment i put the customer everything will be set right also okay nine naira is the currency when click on okay and the moment i put the currency the error will go away automatically so here is gone now you go to the actions and then go to the view pricing strategy and segment you can now see my pricing strategy and segments are coming because now it has got multiple currencies in the instance actually now let me go there and then paste this item over here now i give it that so here it will now come as dozen only i know that if you drop down and then try to make it as a each now fine the dozen prices is now fine go there go to the each now and now it's coming previously it was not coming at all it was not coming you have to perform explicitly a price of each that was a bug actually now they have corrected the bug 
Now you see, it is in dozen. And then this guy is ordering for seven each. See. Seven each is ordering. So the total price is seven. Click on add now. Now it's okay. Previously, we had to add one more price for each also. There was a bug actually that has been corrected now. Go there, click on it. And then go there, click on it. And then I'll go to the supply warehouse now. So it's a key, 99. Child one, the one. Go there, click on it. So we have sufficient stock also on this now. And click on save. And then let us now progress it to awaiting shipping actually. Seven each is the one. And click on it. So click on it. So the order number is what? Oh God, they have given the... Uh, how come they have given the numbering like this? <laughs> so let's take a copy of it now. 2011 something, some format they have given. You are having a numbering like this, huh, Vignesh? Yeah, right, sir. This is a sales number. Ah. So uh, we have started from 001, so now it's 4634. Ah. But this is only for manual sales order. So if it is a tab sales order, the number will be different. A is it something? Uh -huh. So like RPA number also different, the INV, it will start. How to have different numbers that's possible, huh? Different uh, start numbers. Uh, but uh, that, uh, that, that comes under uh, different uh, methods. Uh -huh. and, uh, it, it will come along with the tab order. So what tab they are... Oh, with the tab, oh, with the external tab. The tab, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, right. Tab order is different than the system. Your, uh, what happens, your... Uh, yeah, for manual sales order only, we, we had set this uh, number. Oh, so for tab okay. orders, it automatically comes. It will uh, run via import uh, okay, okay. operations. Good. So click on submit now, fine. I'm doing it now. It is K99 underscore EMP1 and then call ID at the rate 1, 2, 3, all small is a 1. So you can use this now. This this is now set actually. No closing. Now good actions and then go to Sys 241 view. Now he has asked for seven each actually. Okay, go to the fulfillment lines now. Let's go to this place. It is not going to progress on this line now. <clears throat> it is scheduled and then the reservation will start now. I will right click and then go to duplicate and then I will open this now. Click on the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. So click on it and then here go there. I will now choose shipments over here now. And then I will go to the manage shipment lines. And then as Malcolm suggested, we'll now go for the online today and then do the next day, seven days. I will now put order now. And paste it over here and then search. And I'm searching for it now. And then one more thing is, I will now stop the automatic pick actually. I'm going to click on it. And then uh, or rather I will not show you, but how it's going to come now. It was started. It has to go to awaiting shipping actually. It has now gone to awaiting shipping now. So in this place, what happens? You go on and query. click on search. So it is now done. Fine. This is the order. So it does the quantity into dozen here now. You can see. And this is not correct at all. You see, we want seven each now. If you say 0 0.583333, and if you go there, and then I will not put the calculator now, CALC, and then entry now, and I will now see 0 0.58, and then followed by six threes now, 3333333, six threes, and then multiplied by the 12 now, multiplied by 12, and then give okay, it is 6.9999. I want to ship seven desktops or seven laptops now. So this results in erroneous information on the inventory. So, so many stocks are showing in fractions actually. So click on what actions and then go to launch pick release. It always shows you in dozen and then you cannot change the units of measures at all during picking actually. It is not possible. It's not editable at all. This figure is not editable. It automatically converts it into primary units of measures and do it now. Uh, we raised SR, Oracle says no, you cannot do it. You have to have a dual unit sub address for this one. If you have a dual unit sub address of dozen in each, then we can make a switch over. If it is a single unit sub measures, it will always show like this only. They had so many items, 
a physical item showing a stock of what uh, as a, what uh, as in, in a fraction actually now what does now it's showing you this now fine let me click on it it's now staged and then let us now go there and then click on it and then we'll now perform a ship confirmation we'll now perform a ship confirmation and click on it we are not shipping it now from our stock so click on yes now fine it is now ship confirm and then wait for the concurrence to complete now and i click and then duplicate Wait for the compliance to complete. To complete. <clears throat> then Oracle suggested about how to do that now. Fine. So they told that you know, made a mistake, we can't correct it. And then how to do it, they, they suggested me actually. <clears throat> go there. You go to the tools, and then you go to the schedule the process. So we'll wait for the send shipment advice to complete now. Then it will be interfacing into inventory. So then only what happens, the stock gets reduced now, and then the sales order gets updated actually. It is equivalent to ITS actually. So the reservation gets relieved, the stock gets updated, inventory gets updated, and that can work. Now we will now see on the sales order how much it has now shipped actually. Pricing was also a problem. We have to give a each price, dozen price, everything we had to give now, but at least now it is calculating automatically. Now it's calculating automatically. But here also, this is a problem. It comes in a pack, it comes in a box, it comes in a cylinder. And in which case, what happens? We have to use the least common multiple actually. We have to use the least common multiple. And that was the suggestion given by the Oracle actually. If you go to the, what's called, manage orders now. And then click on refresh. So it will now go to ship now, and it will be getting interfaced also. Now give it done, and then click on it now. Go to the main name, and then see this now. How much has been shipped? Seven each is now showing a shipped now. That's okay, but on the stock, it is not seven inch actually. By sales order level, what happens? It's not showing you everything, but on the stock level, it will not go on and have a look at it now. It is not reduced by seven. Now. <clears throat> sales order is now saying seven inch, but what you have shipped is 6.9999933. That is what you have shipped now. You go to the six line thing, click on it, cancel it, and then let us now go on and have a look at the stock. You go to the supply chain execution and then go to the inventory management. You go to the click on it and then here you go there and then you go to the inventory <clears throat> and then you go to the manage item quantities. So you now paste this item over here. Now take a dozen copy item, take a copy, item, go there, paste it over here, give a tab now, click on search. So click on it. So they asked, What is this now? Laptop, I'm having a stock of what? 49.41667. Rear, I don't understand this decimal. Please correct it. I could not correct it. Even with the Oracle also, we raised it. What happens? It will always report on the primary units of measures. But here, you have one more thing now. So the Oracle suggested me if I go to the view, and then here, you will know columns, and then here, go to the secondary quantity. Quantity, if you give on it, what happens? It's not showing everything. UAM conversions also. So on the quantity front, if you click on the UAM conversions, <coughs> that will also show you now. <coughs> If you click on it, what happens? It will not show you the stock on the on the transacted units of metal also. So it's not showing the each level stock is this much. Again, there's a problem. We are transacted on each. Whichever units of metal you are transacted, it will not show you the stock on those also. And then this is import impossible for us to correct actually. <coughs> so their physical quantities are shown on what happens your fractions actually. <coughs> Oracle what says? Suppose let us say. I am not transacting at an item <clears throat> on a milligram, gram, and then kilogram also. Then keep the primary quantity as milligrams. That is called least common multiples. Because multiplication will never enter into error actually. You multiply some five digit number into a five digit number, it will not give you exact. But divisions will now land up in error. For example, 10 divided by 3, it is not at all correct. 10 divided by 3 is, uh, it will not show you as what? 3.333. <clears throat> actually, it is not so. Fine, it will not show you correctly. Fine, go there, calculate C A L C. If you know, if you go 10 divided by 3 and then entering is 3.33. And if you multiply by 3, you will not get what? If you multiply by 3, you will not get 10 at all. You will not get okay. Here it is now my accept plus making it now, <coughs> but otherwise it will not show you 9.9999. So that is the problem of division actually. So if you keep your primary units of measures as the and as a least common multiple of your transaction, you will never land up in a problem like this. The very important one. So it must be your primary units of measures must be least common multiples, or otherwise you have to go for a 
dual unit separators. Fine. Then only what happens in the shipping also, we can change from dozen to each and then ship it again. Otherwise, we can ship only on dozen. And then those guys were calculating a two, carrying a calculator along with them. Fine. And then they will now put what they want to pick and come actually in the in form of dozen actually. Out of seven, you want to let us say, I want to ship only five now. So they will now use a calculator on the pick confirmation form and then they will now put the fraction and again it is an error now. And then uh, there is a decimal error there and then they will now ship the dozen. <clears throat> so this was the biggest problem for them. And then uh, they say, Oracle says, impossible. We cannot do any correction for because the system has been designed so. Shipping units of measures is always on the primary units of measures. So now, now also they have not corrected the problem. I raised the SR also. I raised the enhancement request also, but the enhancement request was rejected actually. <clears throat> and yes, sir, they closed it because we cannot help it actually. So this is on the front now. I just I wanted to highlight you that point now. <clears throat> it must be least common multiples. Now I go for testing of the pricing now. Right? Tired highest, I'm going to do it now. Right? We'll take, take a copy of the tired highest. We'll now go and then do this. Now. We'll now click on the home page and then I'll now go for the price now. <clears throat> so go to the order management and then I go to the pricing administration. I'm going to go for the tired highest actually. Click on it. I will now go to the manage price list and then I will now add the price for this. Click on plus now. I will now add the price. So, uh, not so sorry. I will not go there. So, I will now query this price list. Now, I have only one price that will be coming in automatically. Oh, I'm asking me this. K99. I will now edit this and then I will now add the item over here. So, go there. In the bottom plus, let me add the item. So, I will now put this item over here now and give it a tap. So, it's now coming as now. Well. I on the create charge. So I'm going to get a charge you now. So I will now say the price is what? Let us say 100. And then here I will now go to this place in the right hand side. I'm going over there and I'll give a start date also. The start date should come automatically. This is a bug actually. You should put the today's date as a start date. Everywhere what happens it is asking the start date to manually enter. I don't understand why they are on that. So they have to do it. They will not do it in the successive versions actually. And drop it down. And then here I will now add the tire adjustments. Add tire adjustment. I'm going to click on it. You're not going to add it. Add the tire adjustment. Drop it down. So the tire basis is what it is an item quantity. Fine. The excellent amount is also there, but there's a very complex one. We normally choose only item quantity. Aggregation method is what online and then not on document. Online, I'm doing it. Apply the highest tire. Fine. Application method is what per unit. Now. And then I will now choose the adjustment type as well. There are multiple things that are available here now. Uh, I will now choose the what's called the discount amount. Fine. I will now choose the discount amount. And click on it now. So click on the discount amount, click on discount amount, and then click on OK. There are five different things. There are lab access for you. I'm choosing the discount amount. Thank you. Okay. Discount amount is chosen. I'm good at now. In the bottom, the tired pricing is now coming up. So because of this, I will not give a plus and then let me add it now. So if you buy from zero to ten, what happens? The discount amount, adjusted amount, fine. Adjustment amount is what one dollar per piece. Fine. Per piece is one dollar. So click on plus now, and then I go there. And then if you go for 10 to 20, <clears throat> the adjustment amount per piece is $2. And then you go there, click on plus now, and then I will now give what 20 to infinity. If you leave it blank, it is infinity actually. If you leave it blank, it is infinity. And then I will now say $3, the discount amount. And that's it. Fine. We are now given the tired pricing for this one. And then it will now choose the highest tire, wherever it is applicable, whatever that you will be choosing it. One day, click on it. I will now give a save and close now. You know that. Now, now go to the sales order directly. It need not be collected, remember. Fine. Pricing need not be collected at all. Pricing need not be collected at all. So now go to the manage orders. Click on general. I will now click on create order. Go there. Customer is K99. It's all done. I click on it. I will now put the highlight. Highlight is. <coughs> now, if any quantity which is between 0 to 10, you will now get a $1 discount on the unit price now. So one means what? 99 is a unit price. If you go for what? 8 quantities also. $1 discount on the unit price is 99. If you go for anything between 10 and 20, you will now get a $2 discount. Now. So I will now go for 15 quantities. 15 quantities will give it up. You will now get a $2 discount. And 98 is the one. And if you go for 20 and above, fine, go there, 20 and above. I will now say 2, 3, 4. And then give it up. You will now get a $3 discount. The price will be 97. So this completes the tired highest actually. Tired highest is now tested. So let me go there and then the orders. Now we'll now go for the next test actually. Next is a very complex test actually. Fine. All tires actually. So here I will tell you about how it is going to work. It's a very uh, complex one now. I have one document on this one. I'll go there. Click on it. 
Lava e-business document. It's exactly similar to what we have in e-business also. Find out that point. So day two, we'll have a pricing engine performance. So in e-business documentation, we have day two. We have one pricing engine performance. So this is how it works now. Fine. This is the e-business activity, but uh, here it is not so fine. There is no such uh, what happens a uh, pricing event and modifier event. Fine. The, we have it like this in e-business now. Fine. It is not so. So I'll not go there. <clears throat> it is now expandable for block price now. Uh, the block price example is there. So here I will tell you what how it is going to work. Now. I will not tell you but how this works. As a first step, what happens? It will now create what happens. This is how it works. Now. Fine. So it will now calculate every slab price. Slab total it will now calculate. Now calculate the slab total. Slab total is going to calculate. So let us now set it up and then do the calculation and see it now. It's a very complex one. So this is how universally it is now done now. No that click on it. So here it will now open up and then it will now go for this item now. No, click on it. I will now click on plus now. Tired all tires actually. Paste it over here. All tires is the one. So tire all tires is the one. So click on create charge. Go there. I will now put the prices at 100 now. Allow it. And then I will put the date over here now. So we'll now go there, click on the add tired adjustment now. Add tired adjustment. So you we'll now say item quantity, application methods online. Apply to not the highest tier, here all tires. So if it is all tires, it's a very complex one, you'll now see about how it's working. Application method is what per unit. Per unit and unit. So adjustment type. I've now given a discount amount now. Fine. I will now say discount percentage now. Fine. This time I'll now use a discount percentage. Discount percentage I'm going to use. So here, what happens is the adjustment basis. Discount percentage. Now, discount amount has been done now. I'm now using discount amount, discount percentage actually. So click on OK now. So now here, I will now give a plus. Now. I will now say if you order between anything to 10 to 0 to 10, you will now get what? Uh, it is a discount percentage actually. Find discount percentage. And then I will now put a value of 10%. 10% 10 is the what happens the discount. And then I will now give a plus now. I give a plus. So here go there. I will now add another thing. This is a discount percentage actually. So 10 to 20. I will now say 20%. 20%. Now go there. And then click on plus. And then I will now say again infinity. And then go for 30%. That's it. So we are now given a simple one like this now. Fine that. Click on it. So it will be infinity actually. If we leave it blank, it will be infinity. So 0 to 10 is 10% discount. 10 to 20 is 20% discount. And then 20 to 30 is 30% discount. Click on it. I will now give a save, save and close. So once when you give a save and close, this item can be put on the sales order. Click on it. I will now put the item on this. Click on it. I will now paste this item and then give it back. <clears throat> so any item which is between one to ten now, fine. Click on it. I will now give a one now. Give it happen. quantity. I'm giving it now. Why oh, it's not coming? Tired I asked. Ah, uh, it is not given. Huh? Maybe what happens? I will now open up a new sales order. Now cancel it. So click on create order now. Okay, 99. Go and then populate this item over here now. <clears throat> There's one quantity, no data, it is retrieved. Come on, what happened? The price list. Open it up. And then query the item now. Query the item, give it up. And click on search now. It is not showing you this place now. So we have the tired adjust, everything is coming. We are now given this tired pricing rules are also there now. So everything is coming here. But why it is not showing me the value there? Start date is there, end date is not there. Come on. It's all there now. So tired highest is there. Tired all tires actually. Maybe I don't know. I'm going to give two quantities over here and then give a tab now. It should, it should give the price now. Data is not retrieved. That is okay because GOP is not there because of which data is not retrieved now. Whether I have assigned this item to the child or when I have a doubt now, and click on it. So let me go and then see this now. I'm click on it. I will go to this place. I might not have assigned this item to the child or at all. Click on it. So we go there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to the product information element and see whether I have assigned it or not. We'll now go to the browse items now. 
go and then paste it over here. Okay. And what is this place now? So is there the master and child actually? Is all there? Item is assigned to master and child. And of course, IBO is only master, and so it has to verify that and then do it now. IBO is only master. There is the eligibility criteria. So there is already matching it now. So let me go there and then log out and log in. Sometimes you may have to log out and log in. Click on it. Sign on. Click on confirm. I go to the order management and then I go to the order management over here. So click on create order now. So here K99. Maybe some setups may be made by the MZR team actually for an item to appear. I'm not sure about it. Data is no. I'll go for one quantity. Data is not retrieved at all. The first item came now, fine. We gave it and then came now. Data is not coming now. This has to come. Okay, I will not check for the next item now. Click on it. Check on the next item. <clears throat> so go there. Let us not check on the next item now. We will not go there. So I will now open up one more thing for the next one now. Block pricing now. I will now go on and see the block pricing. Then click on it. Pricing and administration. I don't know whether I am making a mistake or not. No, I'm sorry. I will now go to this manage price list now. What is price list? K99 I'm entering now. So open it up. I'll open up. And then here I will now go for the next item. So tied block, I'm going to say. Click on it. Tied block. I will now say this. So the tied block is there. Click on it. So I will now click on plus now. We are now going to set up the tied block for this. Put the item over here now. And give it time. The primary server is all coming now. So click on create charge. The benefit of charge. So here I will now say again 100 now. And then here I will now put the date. And then I will now go to the add tired adjustment. So go there. Here is the item quantity. So aggregation method is online. So it is not applied to highest law, is all tires actually. All tires I am applying it now. The application method is block. The block. So let us say if I am going to buy one quantity or even 10 quantity, the total amount I am going to give it is what is same actually as block. This time I will not use only the discount amount because I have a feeling that discount percentage may not be giving problem. I will not use the discount amount now. I will not use the discount. Amount. Maybe for all tire, I have to use only amount and not. Uh, the percentage may be, and that may be a reason. So I'm now using the discount amount. So it's a block discount amount. I click on OK. Now. So whatever you buy between zero and ten, what happens? You will not get a constant discount. I click on OK now. The percentage. You must enter a value for the attribute partial block price action. So partial block price bottom include partial blocks. Fine. Include partial blocks also. Otherwise, you have to include the satisfied blocks. Include partial block also. So click on OK now. Include partial block is fine with the Will now again give the same thing. So anything between zero to ten, what happens? You will not get what an adjustment amount of ten dollars. You will not get adjustment ten dollars. Go there, click on plus. So twenty to ten to twenty, and go there, and then I will now say again the amount. This is an amount now. Find the discount adjustment amount, and then go and click on plus. I will now go for twenty to infinity, and then this is thirty dollar. And then it is on discount amount on hand. Click on it. I will now give you. Click on it. I will now on the save and close. Now we'll now go to this place, manage orders and then create orders now. So it's K99. And then give a tag. I will now put the item. There's a block pricing. So one is going to come off and go there. Now price is 90. So if you buy anything between 0 to 1, 0 to 10, you will not get a $10 total discount actually. If you go for two quantities, if you go for two quantities, for both the quantities, you are getting a lump sum discount of 9 and 10 only. So two, how much you are going to pay? 100 into 2 is what? 200 minus 10 is what? 190. The price will be 190. You can say the total price will be 190. The total price is 190. The unit price is 95. So on a block, 
you will not get a lump sum discount only anything you buy between 1 and 10 you will not get a lump sum discount of only 10 now if you go for let us say nine quantities now nine quantity it will cost you what 900 and then you are getting a discount of 10 so you have to pay 890 for this now nine quantity if you give a tap you have to pay 890 here so 890 divided by 9 is 98.88899. Nignesh, are you clear on this now? You get a lump sum discount only. Fine. For 9 quantities, you have to pay 900 rupees, but the company is now giving a lump sum discount of $10 for the 9. So 9 into 100 is 900. So 900 minus 10 is 890. So 890 divided by 9 is what? 98.8888. And then when it comes to multiple slabs, it is more complex actually. When it comes to multiple slabs, you cannot see but how complex it is now. And you click on it. So the first slab total fine, for 10 quantity, fine, it is equal to what happens? Equal to 900. Fine. After discount, after discount, it is equal to what? 890. Second slab, let us say five quantities now. Fine. It is the first slab actually. First slab. First slab total only. So second slab, he is ordering for 15. So second slab. Second slab. <clears throat> hey, uh, uh, Malcolm, Kirish is saying that what happens? Uh, did we get a train to plan approved? Uh, uh, Kirish is saying there is there is no information for, uh, for him to attend the training actually. Malcolm, so please uh, inform him that he is having a training between 2 and 3. Now. It may involve commercial. So what happens? Ask Jay to inform him actually. Okay. okay. Ask Jay. Yeah. Ask Jay. You can ask Jay because Kirish is not. He's saying that again and again. I talked to him. Said there is no information from the company. I had attended. That's what he said. Okay. Sure. Second slab. Okay, fine. Second quantity. Second slab is five quantity. And then the total price. Fine. The total price. Total price is what? You go to here is pay five hundred. Fine. Discount is what? Discount is what? Discount is going to what? Twenty dollars now. Fine. Now, after discount, so how much has to pay now? 480. So, now what happens? All uh, slab, all slab total price for 15 quantities. What is equal to what? How much is this? It is 890 plus 480. How much it is now? Get to uh, so 1370 is the price. Then what happens? It will now calculate what the unit price now. Unit price. Unit price is equal to 1370 divided by 15 now. You know, use the calculator now. Calculator. And then it is a 1370 divided by 15 now. This will be the unit. 91.333. 91.333. So, first lap 900, 10 discount. And then, second slab 5 quantity, 20 discount. The lump sum discount for all the all, whatever is falling on the second slab. So, 480. So, 890 plus 480 is 370. And this is the one. We are going to make a check of it now. I'm going to click on it now. So, go there. And then I will now put the quantity as what? 15 now. 15 and then give it that. So once we give everything that, you can also see 1470 is the price now. Fine, 1470. Come 1370. What is the mistake there? Uh, 1470. Let's come as 1470. Yeah, first line you are you have taken the prices uh, less. It should be 10 quantity thousand. So it should be 980. No, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. <laughs> <laughs> For 10 quantity is 1000 actually. I made a mistake here. Very good. Finally. So it is 990 actually. That is a mistake actually. 990. So if it is 990, 990, it is 1470 now. 1470. And then based upon which the unit price is what? It is 98 actually. The unit price is 98 actually. Good, good, good. Hey, uh, Vignesh, I understood this now. Fine. The slab totals. Yeah, okay. It's called a block discount, block block price actually, block discounts actually. So whenever you buy anything on a block, you will be eligible for a certain amount of discount for the entire block. Actually. For the block, it will now calculate the total price. On the total price, the discount will be applied. And then afterwards, what happens? You'll be getting the total money you have to pay. 
on the second slab also it know that then afterwards all slab total price it will not calculate and then afterwards it will not calculate the unit price actually it is a very famous situation where the cotton industry is using this block pricing and there are so many industries are using this block pricing the block discounts the previous one also will not go and see that is giving a problem of because of this not and go that take on so let us know uh, choose this not the tired all slabs tired all slabs i will not make a change on this not and click on it i will not go to the price list not and click on it i will not query on this item click on search now and tired all tags what happened for oh, price list tag so price list is k 99 entry now so here open the price list and then query the item now item i'm going to query it now i'm going to change it to a discount amount discount percentage is not working there now i click on it so i will not go there everything is there so i will not change it to what you know it's not possible at all you cannot edit it how to edit it now editing is not coming at all come on hmm i have to only delete and then do it now fine delete delete if you are given it it is not allowing you to edit talk click on delete and then give a save now and you have to click on it. give a save now it will not edit and go there click on it now also is not allowing at all wow oh god i think we had to delete the entire one now click on delete delete it <clears throat> give a save now i will now add it so click on it i will now give a plus and then add it now click on it go there so click on create charge go down i will now put a price of 100 now it is all tires price now and then go there click on the date now now you go there click on it add tire adjustment is all tire adjustment and go click on it and now say item quantity your application method is online and then apply to what all tires such application method is what per unit now not per block we are addressing the per block now we are addressing the per unit now and go there click on it i will now say discount amount i think some of them may not be working and i think one is wrong and go there click on discount amount and go there so this i don't know what exactly is enforce adjustment calculation on each tire and i don't know what is it exactly. so click on okay now this come on is coming i will not give a plus over there zero to 10 the same calculation i'm using it now and tell adjustment amount now right click on now put the adjustment amount as 10 now over there and then click on plus now <clears throat> so 10 to 20 i put it now the 20% go there and then click on plus now and the 20 to 30, 20 to infinity in three dogs so here it will also work in a similar fashion but it is for the pricing actually it is not a block discount actually i will not give 30 dollars it is not a thing but i click on it i will not give a seven dollars so here the same example if you go there here the first slab 10 quantities you have to pay uh, what happens 1000 and we are getting a 10 dollar discount on each you know fine is a per unit discount now fine that so on each so you will know how to pay only 900 now you have to pay 900 because it's a 10 dollar discount 10 10 dollar discount on the unit price actually the second slab of 5 what happens you know there fine you know getting a 20 dollar so you have to pay only 400 now fine you have to pay only 400 so on each quantity 20 20 dollar discount so for five quantities you will be getting a 400 dollar discount so it must be 1300 actually you now make a check now fine you now make a check of for 15 quantities so go to the manage manage the orders now and go to one i will now replace it with my item all tires now fine that i will now go for one quantity now first of all i will now go for one quantity and then have a look at it now so one quantity is now 90 now if you go for two quantities what happens it will be 180 actually so multiples you will now get a 10 dollar discount on each price up to 10 now fine up to 10 you go 9 what happens beginning in the And then if you go for ten now, ten you will not see whether you are getting a twenty per twenty dollar discount or not. Fine, that is not it. So if you go for fifteen quantities, now this works now. For fifteen quantities, for each and every item, you will not get a ten ten dollar discount. So for ten quantities, you will not have to pay nine hundred. And then for five quantities, for each and every item, you will not get a twenty dollar discount. And so you have to pay only discount is twenty dollar on each actually. It's on each unit. On each, and so you have to pay only four hundred. So the total price you have to pay is what? It is now 900 plus what happens? 400. It is 1300. 900 plus 1400. Yeah, it is equal to 1300. And then we can divide by the price. I am going to tell you. I am going to give a tab now. You can now see the total amount is now coming here. So 1300. This is on all tires price, and then on the block price also. On the block price discount you are seeing, and then all tire discount also you are seeing. 
Vignesh, is it clear? Yeah, okay, sir. No. But in yeah. pharmacy, we are we are not using this approach. Of course, maybe we're not. Yeah, in block pharmacy, prices. But, uh, what maybe in, in a cotton industry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, in the cotton industry and some other industries, I was told now they are using the block pricing actually. Block pricing is used in some other industry, and then the all pricing, the all tier for other things is on a unit price. It will be coming down, and then it will now calculate this one. On the slab wise, unit price discount actually for all tiers, and for a block price, for a slab wise. Total price discount. For a block price means what? For a slab total, you will not get a discount. And then for all tiers, you will not get unit price discount till that slab is complete. Ram, is it clear? It's very confusing, na? Ram, are you there? Sir, I'm there, sir. I'm there, sir. I'm there. Mm. Yeah. Is it is it confusing or are you able to understand it now? Yeah, 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 yeah. A little bit, it's confusing, but uh, yeah, I need to practice it. Yeah, it yeah. yeah, it's yeah. The, you it's listen to the record and then practice it. Then what happens? It will become easier. Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. So the all tiers and then the block discounts are extensively used in so many industries actually. All tiers as well as the block. What happens? Now extensively used. So try to practice those things. But this price can be overrated, sir. Oh yeah, we can very. Well, I have given an override now. So what happens? You can give an under. Okay, okay. Under. You cannot do it well. While you add it, you can do it now. Right? Yeah, we will add it. Then we add can it, able then to can override the text. Uh, Madam, you are not overriding. If you are given an override tick box, then you can do it now. Right? I am not given an override tick box. Okay, okay, okay. If you give a manual override, you can very well do it. Now. Okay. Now we will not go for the next one. Right? You know what? We will not go for what? The tired block is not completed. This thing is mm -hmm. not tired highest. Tired all tires. This is not complete. Discount simple. We will not go there. And then I create a simple discount actually. So here I will now go to the manage prices. Now I am now going to create a discount list actually. Go there, click on it. You will now create a discount list. So click on the manage discount list and click on manage discount list. And then here I will now create a new discount list. I will now say it's a, what's called a K99 underscore discount. Discount. So take a copy of it and then put on the discount list. And then price type is what all. And one time recurring recurring discount is also available now. Fine. There is again a very complex one. Uh, I will not use the all. Fine. For every ten quantities, you will not get a discount. Now. We will not try to do that. Also, one exercise we are doing now. Click on all. Click on charge type. I will not say there are so many ways are there. I will not use all now. Charge subtype is again all now. Fee or price, wherever, wherever you are going to get a discount. Fine. Currency is US dollars now. So business unit is what your K ninety nine. I am tap now. I'm coming. Start date. I am giving it. We are giving a start date on this now. Fine. Click on it. Line type is what by. <clears throat> so click on save and edit now. Fine. Discount is now getting created now. So manage discount list. Let us now add it now. Fine. Click on plus now. Click on it. We will now give a simple discount on this. Now go there and then I take a copy of the item. Now. <clears throat> so the discount simple. Now go there. So click on the item. Paste it over here. Click on what happened. Go there. So I will now give what the discount simple is there. Fine. Go there. So click on. Uh, what happens? You have to create a charge. The discount rules are going to be. So here, there is no plus create charge. Fine. After you put it, what happens? There is a discount rule now. Fine. Go to actions, and then here, what happens? Create now. Fine. Click on create. A simple rule I am going to create. Now. Tired basis is a lab exercise for you. Attribute base is also there. I think Suresh has do use the attribute base. He was uh, talking to me while uh, setting it up for MZR now. So let us say if the color is going to be black, there will be price, and then if the color is going to be blue, there will be another price. Has he succeeded? He was asking me. I don't. I told him I don't know how to do it actually. Because, it is, uh, yeah, we had a, in the customer itself. We had a given the blue color team and red color team, but uh, currently we are not using that one. Oh, 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 customer itself is a different one. A customer, fine. So let's say ABC red, two, ABC customer, red, like, red customer. You created two different customers actually. Okay, okay. So that way you are done it. But attribute based also is very much possible. I have to go on and read the implementation guide actually. So attribute base is very much possible. Depending upon the color, color of a pen or whatever it is, fine. We can very well uh, give a price actually. We will now see these two things in this place now. Fine. Go to a simple code. We'll now make a simple code. Discount code. He was asking me about the attribute. I told him that I never done it. Okay, fine. I will let me make an experiment on that. That's what he was saying. But I don't know whether he has succeeded in this or not. I'm not sure. So discount rules now. Fine. I'll not go there. So K99 underscore discount rule. I'll put a discount rule here. I'll put the start date over here now. And then here, the charge subtype is all, all these things are adjustment amount. I'm going to put it now. And the simple discount amount is what? Uh, uh, this amount, adjustment amount, I'm giving it, let's say, $15. $15 amount. I'm going to give it. So discount amount. And then here, there are more, so many various other discount amount. 
So I'm now giving a simple discount of fifteen dollars for this particular item. So click on OK now. Fifteen dollars is a simple discount I give. So it's not done. Fine, go there. Click on Save and Close now. Now this discount has to be added to your strategy actually. After having given the discount, what happens? They do it. And the discount details is not showing also. And then you give a save and close, and then we have to add this over there. Now, click on the now. We will now query our strategy and then add the discount list. And go to the manage pricing strategy and then add the discount. So K99 is a strategy entry now. Yeah, open it up for editing. Open it up for editing. And then here, what happens? You go there and then add the price list over here. You go to the discount now. Fine, go there. Click on the over, go to the discount list and then add the discount list. Price list can be added. Return price list can be added. Cost list can be added. Discount list can be added. And discount list, what happens? Go to the actions and go to sell and add now. You're going to add it now. The K99. Entry now. So you're getting it off. I'm going to click on OK now. I'm not adding the discount list. The pricing uh, discount is not approved actually. Do you want to add it to the approved price? So that has to be approved actually. So it's an unapproved one. I will not give a start date also. I'm going to it is an in progress one. Let me go there and approve the discount list actually. And give a save and close now. You added it. So go there, click on the now. We'll now go to the discount list over here now. If I click on it, we'll now go to the discount list and then query the discount list and then approve it actually. So go there. Open it up. It's an in-progress one. Approval is nothing but a one-step one. It is not going to have a hierarchy actually. If I click on approval, it's a one-step approval. Fine. You cannot approve it because the set is not there. Access it, you can give it to common set now. Go to the access. And then click on plus and then common set, you can put it. Common set is the one. Click on it. Ah. Click on search. The search must be able to pick up things now. Fine. I don't know. We know I need everything in capital letters. I click on approve. We we'll save and then approve it. Now we will now give a price for this. Now click on it. We are now given a twenty dollar discount. Now fine. Go there. I'll now go there and then give the price for this. Click on now. So the discount has been added. Now we will now go and then give a price for this. Go to the manage price list. Go there. It's a key nine nine entry now. Go to us. You go to the price list and then you will not give a discount list. I will not, uh, what I was add it now. Discount simple is an item. It is now going to have what? A price of 200, let us say. Click on create charge. I will not give a price of 200. So upon which your $15 discount will be allowed. And I know banner is not allowed. We can even go for the tires also here. Tire wise price and then discount also tire wise. Fine. So many things are possible. I'm not, I can even add a tire level, tire level adjustment price and the discounts also can be in a tire level actually. So both of the things will be applicable actually, depending upon the complexity of your business actually. So click on save and close. If an item is very sensitive, they will not do like this. Now we go there and then we will now give this item out there. Paste the item and then give a tab. <clears throat> give a tab. For one quantity, you will now get a $15 discount. Come on, what happened? Not coming, the discount is not coming. Well, they, Three quantities. There's a simple discount it has to get applied now. It's not coming at all. What happened? Go to the manage price list now. Price list we are given 200. That is coming here now. Fine, 200 is coming. The discount you are given is not appearing at all. I will now look at the strategy now. Fine, click on it. Now look at the strategy. So manage pricing strategy is the one. Let me query my strategy now. K99 and the entry now. So this is a strategy. Fine, open up is an approved one. I go to the discount list now and click on the discount list. What is the mistake I'm making it now? Start date is there. When it is approved one only. When click on it now, open it up and then have a credit now. Click on it. So here the discount rules over. Nothing is coming here now. What happened? Discount lines not there. Oh, it must have got vanished or I don't know what happened now. I might have given you click on plus now. Fine, let me go on and do it now. I will now put the item over here now. Uh, and then the units of measures. I might not have given this primary units of measures basically. I'm not sure about it now. So click on each now. I go to click on it. I will not give a save at this stage now. Your record of the combination value already exists. This is what it is saying. Okay. Click on cancel now. Let me query this now. I click on it. Let us now query this price list now. I will not give out. So the discount list is there now. If you click on the discount list, it will not come up now. If you click on the discount list, discount list will open up now. Fine, go there. So I will now put in the item now. Fine. Item level is what? Item. And then uh, the name, I will now paste this item. Go to tab and then click on search now. You are having it now. Fine, click on it. It's a simple buy. And then uh, we have a discount now. Fine, go there. Adjustment type is discount amount. Adjustment amount is $15. The from date is there. 
And is there any approval is required here now? Approval is not there at all. It is already there actually. Each is there. Come on. Why it's not coming? Access it. The given it. Oh God, access it is already given now. Fine, we already given the access it actually. It is now in which strategy it will not show you. Fine, it is now a discount list can be associated to multiple strategies actually. Discount line default values, if you go there. Uh, it is not keep my line by and open, but leave it as I don't know. So discount line is not showing you actually. The $15 discount has to be applied upon this one. And I just want to put 15 now for each and everything, whatever the per unit discount is now there. Come on, what is missing actually? If you go to the manager orders, you cancel and then come out again. Go to the create order now. <clears throat> the key 99. Cost one now. I don't know. Go there. Click on it. And paste it into the tab now. One C one eighty face coming. So the simple discount is now working now. Maybe a new sales order is not sensing it. Fifteen dollars. Now we'll not go for a tired discount. Now we'll not go for the tired discount. Now we'll not go for the tired discount. So I will not go to the pricing strategy. I will not go to the discount. And then open the discount. And then I will not go for a tired discount. Actually, I will not query for the item. Now level is item. And then query the item. Now give it item. So click on search now. And then query for the item. So this is what else? So I will not try to delete it. Now I click on it. I will not delete the simple discount. Now I click on delete. Now the simple discount is now getting deleted. I click on it. I will not make it as a tired discount. So click on save. Click on save only. You are not saving it now. And go there. So I will not add the tired discount. I click on plus now. Fine. So I will not. Simple now. We are not going to go the create tired based discount. Tired based discount now. Click on it. I will not go there. I name. I will not say K ninety nine underscore uh, tired tired discount. The name now. Go there. The rule start date. I am giving it now. Click on OK now. And then it's OK. Calculation basis is what item quantity. External amount is a very complex one actually. Go there is online. <coughs> Apply to highest tier. I will not say all tiers. I will not say application method is what per unit now. Is all tiers? I will not test it. Highest tier is the lab access for you. Go there. So try pricing rule is there. Fine. Click on plus now. Here itself I am not going to go the code. So if you buy from zero to ten, what happens? I will be getting what? What is the basis now? Fine. Per unit now. Fine. Per unit I am not going to give it. Adjustment type is what? Discount amount I am not going to. Others are not having some issues. Some of them will not work in everywhere. So I am now choosing the discount amount. Others you make a lab access and see discount. Amount. So if you buy zero, then for every one, what happens? Every piece, I will not give a ten dollar discount. And then click on plus now. Fine. Click on it. It's a per unit now. Fine. So there is a per unit, and then per block is also there. There is a lab access for you. From ten to twenty, I'm going to give it now. Fine. Click on it. And then I will not say discount amount over here now. Discount amount. And then it's twenty dollars now. Give it up. And then click on plus now. I'll not go first. No, there's a discount amount per unit now. Click on thirty. Now. So go there. It's a discount amount. Fine. I will not say thirty dollars. So it is a it is all tiers actually. It's all tiers, and then see how it is going to work now. And click on it, and then I am now saving it. Click on OK now. So what, zero, ten, ten, twenty, and then the yeah, tiered pricing rule will with overlapping value already exist for the value twenty twenty. Fine. So it means what? It should not be like this now. Fine. Whether it has to be what happens? It should be our now. Fine. Whether so it must be ten point fine. Not not one now. Now it is not overlapping. No, so, it, is, it is the third line you have. Which is oh, 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 third line is giving a problem. Okay, okay, okay. So, third line is giving a problem. Fine, 30. 30 to 20, 20, 20. Yeah, it would be 20 to 30. Yeah, 20 to 30. Okay, fine. That should be 20 to 30. Fine, okay, fine. So, that must be 20 to 30 now. It is 20 to 30. I think second line is fine. Line, 10 to 20. 0 to 10, then 10 to 20. Now, fine. 10 to 20 is okay. And then next is for 10, 20 to infinity. Ah, it's 20 to infinity. Okay, there should not be any gap actually. 20 to infinity. It's okay, fine, go there. So 10, 0, 10, 10, 20, 20, infinity. Fine, click on OK now. <clears throat> it's all done now, fine, go there. Click on it. I will not give a save. Now, slab wise per unit discount, we are having it now. Fine, go to the manager orders and then we'll not put it now. So we'll not go there. So this is the item now. So for one quantity, if you see, you will not get a 10 discount, $10 discount for each and everything. And up to nine, what happens? It's each and everything will be in yours. Now, it's on a slab basis now. Fine, nine quantities is 190, fine, so if you go for 15 quantities, we'll not go to the same sheet now. 15 quantities. First lap total 10 quantities, and then we are now getting what? $10 discount per each, and then it's 900 now. Second slap, I will not go for five quantities now, and then I will not get $20. I think it's the same way it is working actually. 
it will be 1300 only. So we can even give via the price itself is the same or via discount also we can give. So you don't go there. Go to 15 now and you tap. So the total price you're going to pay is what? It's 2000. Oh, this is a different one now. Fine. It is not like this now. It is not like this actually. Fine. It is not like this now. So I will not show you. Fine. I will not show how it is not done. First dollar is now Fine. It will now say discount. Discount is what? Uh, how much it is now? Fine. It is a $10 per unit. Now, fine. Per unit. And so you are going to pay what? Pay uh, 900 now. Discount is $10 per unit. You pay 900 now. Then the second slab, five quantities now. The total price is what? 500. Fine. Then discount is what? Uh, it is a $20 per unit. Now, fine. Per unit. Per unit now. So uh, total discount, I will not say. Fine. Go there. So click on it. I will not say total discount now. Total discount is how much? It is four hundred only. Fine, come on, it is not. But here it is now coming in a different manner now. Come on, come on. <laughs> Ten quality. The total price is two thousand eight hundred now. Slab wise discount. Oh ho! Uh, on the first thing, come on. I am unable to understand this now. Uh, Malcolm, can you come help now? Ten zero to ten is ten, and then uh, ten to twenty is twenty, and then to, uh, the, above this, what happens is thirty actually. How come it has now come at 2,800 now? I couldn't understand this now. It's really complex actually. 15 uh, quantities, you'll now go for 10 quantities and then see the total price now. Find 10 quantities and then your total price. So you get 900. So that means what? 100, 10 into 10 is the discount actually. So 10 into 10 is a discount. So you get a $100 discount. And then for the remaining 5, you will now get what? No, 5 right into 20. Is... The, the unit price is, I think it is high. It is not 100. It no, is no, no, no. I got it now. I got it now. For the first 10, you get a total discount of 100 now. For the second 5, you get a total discount of what? Uh, 100 now. Fine. 200. So, total no, yeah. discount. So the total discount is 200 actually. The so sale the, price is what? Uh, which is Sale price is what? This divided by 50 is this one. Correct. But two sales two, three, yeah. unless your sale price is 200, you will not get this number. It no, no. Not I'll tell you how it is coming now. Anyway. So here, uh, first to 10, we will get a 100 yeah, discount yeah. on first. Next to 5, and another 100. Ten, fine. First uh, 10, fine. Discount is what? Discount is equal to uh, 100 rupees now. Fine, 100 rupees. And then here, 100 rupees is the discount. For the second 5, second 5, discount is again equal to 100 now. So total discount, total discount is what? 200 now. Now, what I will do is, I will now say six quantities now. If you make it a six quantities, what happens? You'll now get 120 discount here. You can see 120 discount. So the total discount is what? The total discount is 100% already. It's 220 actually. You will now see 220 is coming. 2980. Sorry, 2980. Yeah. You will now see 16 quantities now. 16 quantities and give a tap. It will now say, what happens? 2980 is the discount. No, 2780. It should be 2780. <laughs> My oh, only okay, it's called 2980, 16 quantities, right? Oh, 16 quantities yeah. to, uh, into the price oh, is 200. Quantities, so 3, 3, 200, yeah. 3,200 yes. minus this thing now. Yes, per unit, uh, the unit price, Nana, why it is yeah. taking 200? No, one second, one second. Uh, the total price is what? The price you have to pay. The price you have to pay okay, is equal to 3,200 minus 220. And that is equal to 2980. Got it, huh? So for 16 quantities, 100, 200 total is going to The price you have to pay is 3200 minus 220 is 2980. And 2980 is coming. So this price is coming by what? If you go to the calculator now. See the average, average price. I think. Yeah. 2980 divided by 16 is this price. 186.25. So 186.25 is the price. So 2980 divided by 16 is 186.25. Ram, is it clear? <laughs> it's a very complex one actually. So the first 10, whatever, you get a discount of 100. For the second 6, you get a discount of 120. The total discount is 220. And then the price you have to pay is what? For 60, 16 quantities, it is 3200 minus 220 is 2980. Ram, are you there? Oh God, he's not there. So we are now completed what? The discount simple as well as the discount all tires actually. And then the block discount is the lab excess for you. The block discount is a lab exist. So we'll now continue with the, on the remaining tomorrow. Now it's a very complex one. 
and then it is exactly uh, in line with the ebus actually right? whatever we have in the ebus it's all there actually in it outs so we'll now call today and then we'll now continue tomorrow on the pricing and advanced pricing okay okay bye thank you sir